Hey guys, this is Alex or GoBlue7, and this is going to be my tutorial on how to mod Minecraft or get anything you want in your inventory or just anything you want. So you're gonna, in the end, you'll get this thing here where you can customize it. So to start off, you're gonna need these two files here. Uh, the, I'll put the links to these in the description. The first one is INV Edit. You're just going to scroll down here and click me right here, right next to download. The other one is mono. It'll start you off at, the link will start you off at the home page. Just click on download, or on the download tab. Then go over to Mac OS X and Universal Framework. That's a pretty, this one's a pretty large file, but yeah, you do need it. So you're just going to install mono. You have to authenticate it and whatever. This actually, this file comes or doesn't isn't titled dash one. It starts off like this, but for the for this to work, you're gonna have to change it to. If I could actually click on this, there we go. You're gonna have to change it to inv edit dash one for this to work. All right, so once those are both downloaded and installed, you're gonna want to open up terminal. You can fi either find that in Spotlight or you Applications and it's under Utilities folder. So just open up Terminal. Well, I just did this, so I got X out of this. So for, I'll put this in the description in case you miss it or uh, I'm talking too fast or whatever. First, you're going to type in ls, then cd space desktop ls cd space inv edit dash one ls and then lastly mono space inv edit dot exe then it's going to open up this application right here minecraft inventory editor so the first thing you're going to see is over here it's got every material in minecraft that you can possibly have. Uh, so you're gonna to start out. You're gonna go to this the second tab over and click on the drop down arrow, and then open up from whichever world you want. So I'm gonna open up my main world, and right now this is my inventory. Um, so if you want to uh, just drag some stuff over. So if you want some stone. Drag it over, and then how whatever the quantity you want, you can change it right here. For unli an unlimited amount of a material, you're going to type in 255. That is, yeah, that's the number for unlimited. And then also right up here, if you want to make it so that you literally can't die, you're going to make the damage negative. I think the max is 32,000 right here. So that makes it nearly impossible for you to die. I chose diamond armor, diamond armor, obviously. And then also, if you don't want to have to replace your shovels and pickaxes and stuff, then also change that to a very low negative number so that they do not break. Uh, one thing is I don't recommend getting bedrock. I keep forgetting to take it out. Because if you place it, then... It's there forever, there's no way of moving it, TNT can't blow it up, nothing, can't mine through it or anything, so, I don't believe there's a way to get it out, so, I don't recommend using that at all. Um, so, yeah, I think I've got about everything I need. So, when you're done and you're happy with your inventory, you're gonna go over to the third tab over the save tab, and click the drop down arrow, and save your inventory to whichever world you want it in. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my main world and then open up Minecraft. If you're uh, playing Minecraft and want to update your inventory, you're going to have to save and exit to the main screen, uh, this screen, because if you're in the game, it doesn't change it. Uh, so, yeah, this is my house. And then, as you can see right here, Everything that I had entered in the inventory editor is right here. 
Um, and it doesn't have a number next to it because it's unlimited. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Works. Yeah. Um, so this is my house. I made it out of unlimited materials because, well, yeah, I used the Minecraft editor to make that. If you're going to make a house, I highly recommend using Glow Rock as the floor because at night when you can't really see too well, the pretty much your whole entire house is illuminated b just by the floor, which is great. And uh, so yeah, I've got two fountains out in the front. I've got a, this huge wall going all the way around. This took me a really long time. Stairs, and then inside the house I'm not done yet at all or even close. So, yeah, up here, I tried to make little lava waterfalls, which I did in my last house. That was uh, made out of stone, and that didn't work out so well because I found out that wool is flammable. So this whole entire floor was filled with this pattern, the green and black wool, and it all got burned down, which really sucks because I spent a lot of time on that. But luckily, in the basement, I just chose to make it out of diamond blocks and obsidian. So that worked out great. Yeah, right here, it got burned down too. So, um, basically, I, yeah, you're, if you're bored with Minecraft like I was because I was, wasn't too much fun just going and searching for materials, you can actually build stuff you want to with unlimited materials. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that is it. There will be, I'll uh, definitely subscribe, we'll have many more Minecraft tutorials and, um, yeah, tutorials to do. I'll be doing stuff, just basic how to craft things, and, uh, I really don't know, but I'll be doing a bunch of stuff about Minecraft, so it's getting dark, so I guess it's about time to end this video, uh. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and look out for more Minecraft videos.